Welcome to the Flix and Photoshop tutorial. There are two principal workflows between Flix and Photoshop. The first workflow is the creating process, which is only concerned with sending images from Photoshop to Flix. When the Flix plugin is installed, you'll see this toolset in Photoshop. In case it gets closed or disappears, it's available in Window, Extensions, Flix. This toolset is divided into color-coded categories so that related commands are grouped together. These top two buttons are for creating new PSDs based on the aspect ratio set here. If you want to double check the aspect ratio of your show, you can simply hover over the show level tile in the breadcrumb. New template creates a single panel, which is meant for starting a board from scratch. New thumbnails creates a set of nine panels, which you would use to quickly sketch out and slot in for new ideas. The pink commands are basic operations, which you'll find yourself going back to most frequently. Each of these commands is directly linked to whichever panel or panels are selected in Flix. When you have a new panel that you want to add to your Flix sequence, click Current Image. This adds the panel to Flix after the currently selected panel. For example, let's say the director wants to add a panel after this one, showing the bird descending towards the statue. I have it open in Photoshop, so I can make that change on that layer. Then click Current Image and it adds a new panel showing the bird smaller in the frame and closer to the statue. Let's preview that. Okay, that looks better. You can also use replace current image to replace that panel in Flix. The orange commands are related to layers, layer comps, and frames if you're using Photoshop's timeline. For example, using layer comps, I created this short series of drawings with a common background. I click each layer comp, and each composition of layers creates a panel in Flix. If I was working with frames in Photoshop's animation timeline, it's the exact same principle, except I would use the each frame command. Photoshop boards are always sent to Flix with only the visible layers included. Why does it do that? Well, quite often you'll be working on large Photoshop files containing dozens of layers for different poses. If you were to make 20 different boards out of this one file, you wouldn't want to send that whole Photoshop file 20 times to Flix. Imagine it's 600 megabytes. This would not only fill up your server storage really fast, it would slow down the communication between Flix and the server, so it would get frustrating very quickly. For this reason, what gets sent to Flix is a simplified PSD containing only what you need for that board. But what about the original file with all the layers? What happens to it? And what if I want it? You'll notice this checkbox in the toolset. A master image is the original PSD file containing all of the layer information. Keeping this box checked ensures that Flix always stores original PSD files for each panel in the library and against boards created off that PSD. When you send, say, a cropped version of the image or a series of layer comps to Flix, a master image of that panel is sent to Flix's library. This leads us to the second principal workflow between Flix and Photoshop, the revision process. It's very common for artists to work on a sequence that has been previously created, often by other artists. So let's go through some example workflows that will be familiar. Flix and Photoshop are always linked when they're both open. If I open a panel from Flix, then create a new layer and draw something at random on that panel, when I save, it's immediately updated in Flix. But I always have access to the previous versions under Revisions. Imagine it's been decided that this shot is a bit too tight I double click on it to open it up in Photoshop, and as you can see, there's not much I can do to reframe that. Flix is doing the right thing because this is a simplified PSD originally sent from Photoshop. I know there's more to the image, but I'm not seeing it because I'm not viewing the master image here. However, I can access the master image associated with this panel here because when this panel was sent to Flix, this checkbox was ticked. Okay, now I have the whole PSD to work from. I can reframe that crop and send it back to Flix using the Replace Cropped Current Image button. I can also set a preference in Flix so that when I double click on any panel, it opens the master image instead of the simplified PSD. Here's another common example. Let's say notes have come back from the director that this scene actually needs to take place at night instead. So I'll need to change this background, which is common to all four panels. No problem, each of these panels in Flix shares the same master image. In other words, they're all derived from the same source PSD file, which contains all of those layers. So I can open the master image related to these panels from here. I simply make the change, then update the layer comps to include the new version of this background. 
click Replace Each Layer Comp, and Flix updates the sequence, and creates a new version of the master image saved against these panels. If I didn't have access to the master image for these panels, but I still wanted to revision them at the same time, I could go into Preferences, and set the panel open behavior so that they open either as separate PSDs or as a single PSD with panels represented as layer comps or timeline frames. Finally, these yellow buttons are to help you navigate the panel browser in Flix without needing to switch back and forth between Photoshop, which will usually be on your Cintiq, and Flix on your main monitor. For example, click Next Panel, and the next panel is selected in Flix. You will likely have Flix open on another display, so you can navigate to the panel you want through Photoshop. Then click Open Current Image, and that panel opens for editing in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.